Okay, hi everyone. Um, I'm going to show you today real quickly how to calibrate the ESEPs on your 3D printer. And any uh, RepRap printer that is running Marlin will follow this same uh, basic guidelines. Um, the printer that I have here in front of me is a Wilson 2, um, but as long as you have uh, Marlin and you have a LCD controller attached to the printer, then you can follow this, uh, these steps directly. Now what we're talking about um, today is adjusting this value that's stored in the EEPROM of your printer called E-steps per millimeter. And what that is is that's the number that the uh, firmware uses to determine how many times to step the extruder stepper motor uh, for every millimeter of filament that the uh, model needs extruded. So it's important to have the right count there um, obviously so that you're not under extruding or over extruding um, your prints. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by setting the machine to preheat. So I'm going to go to the preheat menu and I'm going to choose preheat ABS and I'm going to be using PLA to make this adjustment but I want to set it to preheat ABS settings so that the nozzle will be hot enough that it, it doesn't, um, there's no risk of it slipping the filament as we go because that will throw our measurements off. And my preheat PLA settings um, are just meant to preheat, they're not meant to print so it's a little bit too cold. So that's why I did that. And then what you'll need to do this is a little bit of filament, so I have just some 1.75 millimeter uh, PLA filament that I'm going to put on the machine. And then you're also going to need a pair of calipers or a good ruler that has uh, millimeter increments marked on it and I've got a little piece of tape here which is uh, like a scotch tape with a print on it so it's easy to see so take that tape and take a small piece and just put it here on the filament um, a few inches above the extruder body like that so that you've got a little flag that you can measure to. And then take your calipers with them zeroed out and from a fixed reference point, which is the, I'm resting the caliper here on the top of the extruder, just measure as straight as possible up to the bottom of that tape. And then make a note of that number. So I've got 90 millimeters. So I'll write that down. Okay, and then with that written down, um, now we'll go back to wait for it to heat up the rest of the way, which it is, and then go to the prepare menu, move axis, one millimeter, extruder. And when your machine first resets, this number here will be zero. It's just a running count of how much filament the machine is extruded. And we're just going to manually dial that up uh, to say, Oh, there it landed on 52, so 52 millimeters. And you can see the tape is drawing down towards the extruder. And just wait for it to finish. Okay, now if our E-steps is calibrated correctly, it should have moved 52 millimeters. So if we measure again to the spot, same spot on the tape with the same reference point, now I have 29 and a half, let's say 30. So 
So we started at 90 and we ended at 30, so we actually moved 60 millimeters um, when we asked it to extrude uh, 52. So we over extruded by 8. So if we take our calculator and we take uh, 60 divided by 52, then that says we over extruded by 15%. So that's the percentage that our E steps is too high. And our E steps uh, we saw earlier started at 120. So if we take um, 120 divided by 1.15, oops, 120 divided by 1.15, that says our E steps should be 104.3 or so. So we just go back to the control menu, motion all the way at the bottom, E steps, and we can just dial that down to 104, and then go up a menu, and in this control menu, about halfway down there should be two entries that say store memory load memory if you hit store what that does is it writes all of the all of our uh, constants like this E steps back into the EEPROM on the Arduino so that when we power cycle the printer we won't lose our new setting so that's important um, if your firmware if your version of Marlin isn't compiled with that option in you won't see that in that menu and and then what you need to do is just go back to the source code for your firmware go to the configuration.h file and you'll find that e steps value in there so you'll change it in that header file recompile and reflash the arduino so it's a time saver to have that uh, that uh, uh, feature compiled in but it is optional not everybody has it compiled in so now what we could do is to kind of test that we did that all correctly. We should remove the tape before we forget about it. If it gets pulled into the hot end, then it'll cause a pretty serious jam. Put the filament back in there. Start with a new piece of tape back up here. And then Measure it once again. Eighty. Go to prepare. Move one extruder. Um, now, actually, before I do any of this, before I go on, um, we should have reset our printer after we saved the constants to memory. So I'm going to actually hit the reset button on the side of the. Um, ramps board and then we have to go back to preheat and the reason that I did that is um, I don't want the firmware to get some confused concept of how much filament has been extruded because we changed the E steps in half and in between those two moves uh, because it seems like that messes up Marlin so I always reset after I change it and then if we wanted to verify that we have the new value still, we could go back to that control menu and go down to the bottom and there's our 104. So anyway, back to verifying. We started with our tape 80 millimeters up. We're going to go back to move one extruder. So now we're back to zero and we'll dial up some number like 40. Now we just wait for it again to stop moving so that we know it's finished. And if we did our calibration correctly now, uh, we should be 40 millimeters less, which means our caliper should read 40 wherever this ends up. Okay, the moment of truth. There we 
we go. Just about 40. So if you wanted to, you know, refine it, depending on how particular you want to be about getting it exact, you can repeat that a couple times, and um, eventually you'll you'll find that you're just adjusting it up and down a little a little bit. And that's all there is to it. That's how you calibrate your e-steps. And just remember to remove this when you're done, so that tape doesn't doesn't stay put. And uh, hopefully that was helpful.